and I welcome the launch to a rather rage fest version of Super Hostile. Yes, as you'll notice, I am on this island. I have a backpack. I have more stuff. I have a sign, which for which I got. I don't know how I got. And if you were to go, if we were to go to our house at this moment, after leaving a waypoint here. If we go to my house, walk over here, and even just turn around the door, you will notice I have the first wall. Yes, I am furious because Fraps decided that halfway through the recording it was going to screw up. Meaning not only did you all lose the entire of the dungeon, all you basically got to see was me jumping around like a derp, like so, on Hexit Super Hostile Survival Series. And now that my rage is done, welcome everyone to the lounge. I welcome you to another exciting episode of Super Hostile Sea of Flames 2 Hexit Edition. Now then, my rage. I'm sorry, it's just like... I can't believe that, I'm just so furious. I will even, in fact, I have a dungeon point saved for it. I will even, in fact, show you what it looked like. Uh, wait a moment. No, wait, just one cotton picking minute. It didn't save my... It didn't s Oh, folks. Folks, I'm now furious. It didn't save my uh, data, meaning I've now got to manually walk over there. Is that where this clay's coming from? No, those are on top of some lava. That means they've been put there since. It's just, oh, I even found clay. <laughs> I'm just furious, folks. All right, so basically, what I did at the first of the episode was I said, okay, we've got, we're gonna take a look around, folks, because we're gonna find this, we're gonna find stuff today. We're gonna do things, see stuff. We're gonna find the first king dungeon. And now we're back at the Oblivion Spires. Guess what I found here at the Oblivion Spires? The first fucking dungeon. That's right, I found it. I was looking around, I found it. Yeah. I found it, it's right over here. Err, lag, go away. Yes, see, I've even built a path down here. Let me reset the waypoint. Look, I've even got this cool, nice setup pathway down to it. And this was the Oblivion Spires, which I then used my diamond pick that I have there to dig down to it. I walked over here, there was a gas spawner, there was a zombie spawner there, I don't know what the fuck you are, the, an armadillo, uh. there was a gas spawner right behind there, there was a zombie spawner there, and there was a creeper spawner there, there were a bunch of creeper spawners up there, and I had basic, it was basically, Vex was forcing me to have to jump down, then build my way back up, and there's the wall right there, I'm furious folks, furious. And now I set another waypoint for wall one because I will also be using this place as an obsidian mine. Because once we start getting Ender pearls, we can start hitting up the Harken Scythe mod, which should be very, very useful. Itch, itch, itch. Sorry, I had a scratch. All right, so now then, uh, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back up top because there's even more rage. I've just noticed that all my newer spawn, all my newer waypoints are like gone, so. Fury, I have it. What else I noticed was that over here, there is a mossy cobblestone block. In this mossy cobblestone block is something that had already caused me rage. 
because I can't seem to find the circuit one because of the lag spikes. It's dungeon five. I've done s But that confuses me. Because, as we all know, we've done a dungeon five, I think. No, it's du crossroads for three and four. Meaning we could, in theory, do this one. Which I think we shall. We're just gonna do it. Don't blow it. Only one thing that could possibly mean creepers. Oh. Special, Vex. That's real special. Erg. Just in case I die. Now that something else I also discussed was that uh, soul tether. I have soul tether now on my uh, weapon. What soul tether does is it's basically a uh, methodomania. What it basically does is this is a lie. Did Vex lie? Well, he's been known to. Oh, there we go. This pick may be a wee bit too strong for my own good here. Okay. I see you! Because that could be an issue. So that's probably the gimmick of this dungeon, that uh, if I let the creepers blow up, I will be in more shit than I can take. Luckily for me, my weapon is pretty badass. So we don't have too much to worry about. Ow, ow. Fuck me! Okay, yes, uh, that explains the purpose of my sword. The Krekernite Blade, the Tenth Soul Tether. It will always bring the blade back to me. Um, we have a bit of work to do now. Okay, grab this, this, these, and maybe this. And now, we head back. Quickly, might I- You bastard! Okay. You saw me make that waypoint. I think it nuked my- Oh man, it really nuked that! Oh, that pisses me off. Quite severely. Yeah, we're gonna have to abort, folks. That's actually quite damning. Losing that pick. Because what it means is we've just lost the best pick in this map. Because I am unsure whether or not we'll get picks like that. Mob drops. Ooh, that lag I didn't like. Uh, okay. Gee, damn it. Alright, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to find the second pick I had about. Yes, the sufficiency to pick. Correct, Renite. Well, folks, can't say that really isn't, I uh, cannot lie to you, that's rather D. 
damning. I like that little book pack with a sword through it, yeah. That looks just kind of really cool. Alright, so basically what that's just what's just happened is those creepers have basically lay knocked whatever armor I had. Oh my Krikonite helm, my Krikonite boots apparently. My potions, my torches, all that kinda just took a drink. Just took a dip in lava. Because those creepers blew it up, meaning I'm now back at square one. Jolly good. Jolly jolly good. What we'll need, in return, is to not let the creepers get the better of me this time, and actually pay this sodding hell attention. We're gonna need a bunch of wood, a bunch of stone, which we've lost as well. Losing the stone may be a little more uh, harmful to me than anything else at the moment. Because I don't have an infinite source of that like I usually do. I suppose I could just walk over somewhere over here and just begin mining out a bunch of stone, but, well, it's just shit. This is just a mess. Issue is, I am unsure where lava will be, and I could easily just cause a massive mess in my own house. I have to admit, folks, that's throwing a monkey wrench in my plans. I luckily still have about 10 XP points. So in the spirit of that, let's see if we can enchant this. We can't. Pierce. Is anything in it? No. Okay, yeah. So the reason I'm equipping it here... Is because if I push the B key, I can open it immediately and then, like, put things inside. Immediately. Which is really useful. Efficiency 2. Afterlife. Unbreaking. Yay. Let's equip it with unbreaking. 12 levels. Alright, we're going to ignore all that. We have an unbreaking pick now. We can rebuild that pick. It'll just take us a lot of XP. Which is a f crying shame. How much for fortune? Odd. Odd. That's very, very odd. Where's, unfor where's fortune? Oh, convenient. I can switch between the two. Meaning there is a way to, in fact, get fortune. Should I just absolutely want it? Damn. We have that nice diamond shovel, which will be very good at keeping. Which we will be definitely... We lost our shield! That... Losing that little me living metal shield, that actually really pisses me off. That living metal shield was probably the best thing to happen to us for a while. But luckily, this guy ain't too shabby either. Damn. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make an extended an extended axe. We lost all that clay too, which is just a, a minor myth, but it's still a myth. It's middle of the night. Let's take a snooze, folks. Oh, man, that really annoys me really grinds my g 
gears! Give me that head. So this thing has decapitation? No, oh yeah, mob decapitation comes with the Harkin Scythe mod. Mobs can, if you hit them in the head while trying to kill them, they will actually take damage to their head. Oh no, kind of simple, but useful. Gives me a lot of decorations to use. Good jiggity. This is where it just dropped off all the missing blocks from... Well, frankly, from the tornado. That evil, evil tornado. God. Okay, let's try, um, this. Alright. Oh yeah, dur, I have all this gravel, and I'm not using it to cover up the lava. I might just be a big moron. Well, bigger er than usual. I want that clay, but I'm not suicidal quite enough. Quite yet to try and get it. I'm also kind of just on the lookout for more clay. Because clay is going to be useful to us. So, all in all, Dungeon 5 is looking to be a real pain in my side. I see mossy cobble. Mossy cobble means something's there. Like that I'm lagging just pisses me off. Uh, how did I even turn around? I didn't even move the mouse to turn around. That looks special. An oddity. That's for sure. That's what this is. Well, there's light there. The Lost Caves. This worries me. Worries me greatly, because A, there's a fucking tree that. There's fucking leaves and trees. Stab. Oh! There's a fucking soul over there. I don't know how that means. I mean, there's a. Bon Wraith. Would not be surprised if there was a soul wraith down here. That would just be shittest luck I've ever had, but yes. The current strain of how things are going. Water! 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 We've got a. There, we have water now. Well, we know where it is, but... Ceiling Vine is watching you play Minecraft. Rule 1 of Vex. When he gives you weird hints, weird BSE hints like that, it's usually wise to pay the fuck attention. Because it could save your life repeatedly. Okay, so yes, there are random lava pits down here, too. This cave looks rather lost. That skeleton! Duff. Reed. A lot of it. A lot of reed. Oh, smooth. What did that little bat ever do to you, you little... I am probably biting off quite the battle I can't chew. Oh! There's a reed farm. It's a reed farm! Nine 
Nine bets of twenty-four say that there was actually something. To, that there is actually a skell. Ah! Oh, there's definitely a creeper spawner. Okay, I don't have much longer, folks. So I'm probably going to abort. Yep, gonna abort. Walk this way and abort. I'm going to break code to abort. And I'm gonna end it off here, folks. I, I'm exhausted. Oh, oh. If you all enjoyed my commentary, if you did, I appreciate you because I sound just so frustrated. If you liked my commentary, please leave a like. If you haven't already, why not subscribe? We could always use another in the lounge, and I will. I will see you all next time. Bye.